Now let's move to another thing. I request Shri Akash Khandelwal sir, our another special guest, to please come and share his views. Please, sir. Esteemed uh, guests on the dais, the dignitaries, and uh, learned uh, audience here, I think uh, many of the focus issues related to you know, education and the challenges in education have been shared by our panel speakers. And I would just like to extend on that, that uh, yes, of course, we are, we are feeling that brunt of well-being, well-being of ourselves, well-being of our people, you know, uh, next to us, the community, and the well-being of the planet, which uh, Manjula Ji very rightfully pointed out. I think there is a change which needs to happen uh, what uh, Professor Sharma also pointed out that beyond classrooms. So these are very important elements uh, which needs to be changed and we need to reform our thinking, our process, our curriculum. Particularly till middle school level, we need to reform our curriculum because there is a change, you know, there's, there's, there should be thought-provoking sessions amongst the teacher groups, amongst the educators, on climate-based curriculum, on green curriculum, as got mentioned here, because that is where the children will learn that, okay, how, you know, because children I was speaking to in schools, in Delhi as well, they're not aware that, okay, how this heat wave entered, because they have no clue how this all has happened. So this needs to be discussed, deliberated within the classrooms, outside the classrooms. So these are major challenges through which we can create an integral education because that is where they will be environmentally more conscious and create a responsible planet for themselves in the coming generations. So we are facing huge challenges in, in, in this area because uh, that is where the, the well-being gets impacted because you know, earlier in Delhi, because I stay in Delhi and uh, uh, schools used to get closed down for the last six, seven years constantly on air pollution level. Now it is the heat wave level and the school got closed down through government orders, including in Amritsar, in Delhi, to northern region got the maximum of these uh, issues and concerns. So there are, there is an impact. So we need to, you know, uh, train ourselves on that and teachers need to you know, I think uh, as educators in the classroom, they need to pin down those points. I think, and second is the hybrid education, which we have, you know, post-COVID, because in COVID, we had that learning deficit. And that deficit really, you know, carried on for the next three, four years, still carrying on. So that needs to be filled now, because that came purely through, you know, technology. Now, with the human interface, we can make them, because those children who are in growing years, they need to, you know, uh, emphasize on that side of a conceptual based learning which is very important. So overall I can just emphasize that we need to uh, redraw, sit on that drawing board and come out with a, you know, a curriculum reform within our school system. That is very important because that can bring the innovations which is very much required because you know science, maths, because we are pushing competition, uh, the competitive culture, within our system because NEP says so, but of course, the stakeholders, the parents, they put pressure on the child and the, the, and the, the system also puts pressure. So the well-being, the social, emotional learning, that is all getting impacted as a whole. So I think we need to reflect within ourselves, listen to student voices, which I think rightfully men, uh, you know, mentioned uh, in the morning session, that you need to listen to your students uh, they have something to, you know, say on everyday basis because the child changes on a daily basis. So they need, they are coming fresh to us, and they need to be, you know, informed and like one-to-one -one collaboration. These are all very important elements. So I think 21st century is the age of artificial intelligence. Uh, we need to, you know, gather those uh, requisite skills uh, where we can bring in through AI a lot of new career options so that this pressure of IITs and IIMs, you know what uh, the directors have pointed out this morning, so this will has to be fizzled out. We are not talking about how good you can be a painter or how good you, you know, you can become a, a, a technocrat because everything is, you know, going into very different uh, uh, technical domains. 
and we are skewed as a left-oriented society. So this morning when we were having our coffee, this also came because schools are very left-oriented. We are being tested on a very left-oriented skill sets. The creativity and curiosity is getting impacted. So, you know, uh, we need to create an environment, uh, the culture within the schools and uh, the thought process, the platforms uh, with the stakeholders as parents, they need to be counseled uh, every time when the child is growing. So, you know, education per se, because school, what I feel and I have observed that is being isolated from the society. So that interconnectivity has to be developed and strengthened and the bondage has to be, uh, you know, given that space. So every, every teacher, I think, has to be a good counsellor uh, to speak to all the stakeholders and make your children a very confident child. Thank you.